Mr. Rock, chapter 51, verse 28. It says, Get learning with a great sum of money and get much gold by her. Believe it. This is Sirach chapter 27, to like your chapter 51, verse 27. Behold with your eyes how that I have had but little labor and have gotten unto me much rest. Get learning with a great sum of money and get much gold by her. Right. The scripture saying, uh, you know, with all that getting, get wisdom, man. Alright? And through wisdom, wisdom will help you get any type of funds or take care of yourself financially. You know? Alright, go ahead. Verse 29. Let your soul rejoice in his mercy. Right. So your soul not supposed to rejoice in winning the lottery. Of course, you're going to be happy that you're able to pay for things. But you got to know that that's just temporal. Alright? Even if you do win, you give praise to your Hawabashim Yahushua. Alright? And be happy for his mercy. Because two thirds that don't put on the garment, the righteous garment, they're the ones that, what? Rejecting his mercy, man. We're in the time of mercy. And with mercy comes what? Judgment. Alright? So that means we're in the time of judgment to where the Lord is giving out, uh, what's the word? Exemption. Alright, And be not ashamed of his praise. Yeah, man. So don't be ashamed of the truth. He said, don't that be ashamed of him, he's going to be ashamed of you when he, goes to, when he goes to pray for you, to the Father. You know? He's going to be ashamed of you when he returns, meaning he's going to destroy you, man. Alright? So you don't be ashamed to do good. You don't be ashamed of the truth. You don't be ashamed of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh period, man. But you be ashamed of this place, America. Okay? Verse 30. Work your work betimes, and in his time he will give you your reward. That's right, man. Do your work in this truth, and in his time. That way it says, no man knows the day or the hour, you know, when the Lord is going to show up. He's going to come as a thief in the night to take back his, his uh, money, to take back his jewels as, before he polishes, man. All right? Memorial stone, you know, uh -huh. talent. Go ahead. Oh, that was it, right? What was the last part? He said, what? He'll give you a reward. And, and the reward for this work is what? Salvation. Alright? That's the reward for this work. He went over there. Alright, right, this is the book of Sharon. Chapter 18. I'm going to start at verse 20. Before judgment, examine thyself. And in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. Humble thyself before thou be sick, and in the time of sin shall repent it. Let nothing hinder thee to pay thy vow in due time, right, and right. defer not until death to be justified. Yep. And also, uh, you can make sure you catch any points I might miss, but what I want to speak on is Esau, man. You know, they have the, they have the chance to pay people. Look at Trump. He got a chance to pay people. But what are you doing? Messing with the wages, messing with employment, messing with the government shutdown. That's why the government and wages are not supposed to go hand in hand. Uh. Government and, and faith, or what they call religion, is not supposed to go hand in hand. Government and trade is not supposed to go hand in hand. The government is supposed to do just that, govern over the military and anything dealing with federal. All right, but what, what did the feds say? The feds is owned by what? Uh, a family called the Rothschilds. And the Rothschild said what? Give me control over anybody's money and I care not what you do with the laws. Why? Because they want to regulate wages, regulate taxes, which they knew would, would control the economy and ultimately give them power to regulate it and ultimately crash it. Alright? Give, that gives them power to give a country life and give them power to take it away from their country. Alright? Through um, uh, uh, devaluing and debasing of the dollar, of the currency. Go ahead, brother. <coughs> uh, sure. Um, this is Sirach chapter 7, verse 20. It says, Whereas thy servant worketh truly, and treat him not evil, nor the highly that bestoweth himself wholly for thee. Right, man. Yep, yep. And that, that's talking about your damn employees. You got everybody working, you, you paying them shit. Shit wages. 
All right, they, they, they basically working in third world country wages, man. All right, you got people working at factories, busting their ass. You got people at offices sitting on their ass getting paid more. And then you get taxed and shit. Then you got child support. Then you got all these other wages. Then you got student loans. Student loans, America is the, is the, uh, the biggest holder of student loan defaults. And what do they do? Uh, they say anybody that has defaults, the taxpayer has to pay for it. So if somebody has a default on the loan, they go to the taxpayer for it now. Oh, what is it called when you uh, get a loan from the bank and you got to pay that same amount back, but you also got to pay, well, interest. 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 That's so wicked. That's yeah, wicked. Uh, my ass. Uh, it's the spirits from Egypt. All right, right uh, man. Uh, a big, the ultimate pyramid scheme. Con. There you go. Uh, there you got go. bottom feeders, and then the people at the top do, do less. That's right. And also, the pyramid scheme dealing with um, investment. Because they get you to invest in the dollar and believe in it. And the more people that buy it, the more that dollar gets established. <laughs> All right? Uh, All right, kind of. But the first ones that buy into it, they become rich. And that's what you call a pyramid scheme. The ones at the top have the money, and the ones at the bottom are poor. Uh, it's like what? The cryptocurrency. They're doing that again. It, it has no value to it until people buy it, and they say, hey, man, I'm promising you're going to make some money. All I got to do is get him to get into it. Now, I bought it from you. You made money. Now, he buys into it. You give that money to me. Now I've made money. Now you keep that process going to the next person. That's a pyramid scheme. It builds a pyramid to where we at the top and they at the bottom. Now. You know? Uh, go ahead, bro. All right. This is uh, Sirach 31, verse 3. Right. It says, The rich have great labor in gathering riches together, and when he wrestles, he is filled with his delicates. The poor labor in his poor estate, and when he leaves off, he is still needed. Con. So just like the brother was saying, man, you got these, uh, you got these rich Edomites, you know, sit around and just build up riches, don't even do nothing, man. But then you got uh, uh, Jake out here, you know, working, working day in and day out, man. All right, bringing in this little bit of money and still need it at the end of the day. All right, you know what I'm saying? So we basically working just to uh, keep working, man. It's a cycle, right? A and continuous cycle. Yep. And then you have to build, a f you have to build your own kingdom. Literally, we're literally building the kingdom through the spirit. Because in this society, you got to start from scratch. Esau, they're born, and they have some type of heritage. They have, they have a setting in place called white supremacy, white privilege. When they're not right at all, they're actually red. That's why they call them the devil. Uh. That's why bulls hate them. Uh. <laughs> and for the bull, they might get rammed and shit. Hey, yeah, they better not go to the running of the bull. They might not go, better not go to the rodeo. Get your ass chased down, mauled and shit. <laughs> by the bull shit that you're doing. Yes. <laughs> uh, that was it on that up? Cool. And he said what? Uh, what was that last part? He said, the poor labor in his poor estate. Yep. And when he leave a oath, he is still needed. He's still needed by his family. That work still got to be done. Esau going to go after your family for the money, for the work. They'll hire your children to work for him in, in slavery. <laughs> you know? Our, our foreparents are the one that built this place, America, and we still hadn't got our 40 acres in the mule. Con, not, uh, we still working to make a dollar. Thank you. Oh, you good? A uh, movie I was watching um, recently last night called Free State, and basically in that movie, uh, it was an Edomite and a couple of uh, 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 Jakes, uh, runaway slaves, and they were fighting for a free state, and they. And during that time period, they was uh, uh, gathering up taxes. They were taking 10 percent, but they were basically. Uh, basically taking everything that uh, the farmers and stuff, what they had, man. So uh, it was an uh, Edomite man named, I think his name was uh, Jones. Called Free State of Jones, the movie you're talking about, uh, with Matthew and, McConaughey. And, and it was rebelling against them, man. Uh, All right? That was the, that was the first, uh, that movie was like the first... James uh, yeah. Jones. Uh, uh, I can't get my words. It was the first nuance of uh, of, the, of the way the America is now. Right. Yeah, that was the first type of uh, type of voting, first type of uh, uh, establishment of, uh, of taxes and debt. Because you know uh, they didn't want their slaves to go away. So what they did was, all right, well, you know, you spend a lot of money to care for them. Tell them they got to pay that money back. Oh, they can't pay it back. Now they got to work for you still. Boom. Same. It's just a different form of slavery. Right, man. You got. I was walking the other day, I seen this damn Ferrari and shit. Oh, what was it? It was like a spider car. And I was like, damn. We actually in this society, if it wasn't for your how about you, me, I was shy, 
you would really know that, yo, you're going to go your whole life without ever driving one of them motherfuckers. Come on. Hmm. Uh, and that's not life at all. That's hell, man. You got buildings that you'll never be able to go into in this society. You got homeless people that be homeless their whole life sitting outside of a vacant building. Huh. You know, foreign cars that we'll never see mm -hmm. if the Lord wasn't going to show up, man. <laughs> but because of the Lord, we're going to be able to enjoy all these things as toys, man. Uh, Not worshiping them and praising them. They're going to be under our feet. You know? Just like our sneakers. We're going to have yachts and shit. We're going to have chariots. Planets. 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 Walking on water. Like the Lord, man, He deals with, with fire and elements and forgiveness of sins. He, those are His gifts. Those are like toys to Him. Uh, he can do what He wants with them. That's what makes Him a king. You know, He gives you air and life. Those like, that's like saying, I'm going to give you some milk out the refrigerator. That's His form of riches. The world. With wisdom. Huh? The world. It was, it was made by sheep. That's right. The world. Everything in it. The elements. Uh. All the elements out in the universe, the galaxies was made. Every man gonna have his own galaxy. Right. Cause that, that what Yahweh Shah said. Uh, in, in my father's mansion, uh, in my father's house are many uh, many rooms, man. Many mansions, that's right. right. Kind of like you, many mansions. That's right, man. And, and also, that's talking about the bodies that the Lord got prepared for you. Kind right. right? The Lord got many, uh, a, a, a superhuman body prepared for you, and also, uh, a place out there for you that we would not be able to go to if we didn't have new bodies. Huh. That's right. That's why the Lord said, I would that they would be able to be where we are, where I am. And we can't be with the Lord Yahweh Shai until we're in the spirit as we are now and until we're in, in, in the spiritual bodies as we will be in the future, hopefully. Huh. Be, able right. to, be able to um, um, be in the chariot and, and go through all the different galaxies, man. That's right, man. Go yep. through the different sets of, of heavens, and man. all the pressure, you know. God, that because out there, in the, out there in the heavens, if you just go out in the heavens, it'll crush you or melt you. Huh. You know, turn you in the in the in the splatter. So you're gonna have bodies that can resist all that. Actually, that'll that'll be more powerful than that. All right, we gonna keep going in that direction, though. But keep going. Um, where we at? Uh, got Haggai. Uh, Haggai 1 and 6, what about the truck? Come on, you say start at 5? Yeah. All right. Proverbs 6 and 4? All right. Yeah, he got that one. Then, uh, Proverbs 3 and 25. I got that. You got that? All right. All right. This is Haggai, chapter 1, verse 5. We done at that, man. Thank you, it says, Now therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Right. Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Ye have sown much and bring in little. Right, man. The Lord telling you Jakes out there, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you confusing the faces that love this damn place. He's saying, yo, consider your ways, man. Consider the ways that you're walking throughout life. Con consider your walk since you were born, man. What your parents taught you. Examine yourself. What the fuck is you doing in life right now? What, what time period are you living in? Lil Wayne said it on his song. He said, I look down at my rollie. I see it's the darkest times. Well, if this dumbass can see it, you should be able to see it, too. <laughs> if, you see it, if, you, if you see it's the darkest times, what you going to do about it? You going to be dark? You going to live in darkness while you're in the darkness and shit? They going to lose their eyes. Right, or you going to be a star in the midst of the darkness, like a star is out in the heavens. Uh. A star shines in the darkness, man. Uh. A star alters and, and, and manipulates the darkness, man. Mm. Uh. Now, maybe about the shots, because y'all was shots that we are the children of the light. The water, that's right, man. The children of light, man. And what does darkness do to life? It runs from it. That's right. Born on the right hand side of the Father, Spirit. Right hand side of Spirit. From the right hand side of the Father, man. Of uh, the light, not darkness on the left hand. Alright, we come from the Spirit, the right hand side, man. And you people, you two thirds, have been blinded by the left hand side, which is the spiritual demon Satan. You walk in, you walk in darkness, and you walk contrary to your Yahweh Yahusha. All right, contrary to light, you walk in darkness. Mm. You walking in the night. Uh, go ahead, brother. Night walker. He says, "Ye eat, not sleepwalkers. Sleepwalkers. <laughs> ye eat, but ye have not enough. Right, you eat, but you have not enough, man. You eating, you consuming, you working, you you know, you growing in the society as a wild grape. You know, but you don't have enough." Every day, you got to go out and work again. As soon as you fill your refrigerator and you eat, you shit it right out. Now you got to go fill it again. 
you pop your girl, you gotta, you know, you have a baby, now you gotta pay child support, you worrying about all this shit. You get a woman, you gotta worry about somebody fucking her. You get a job, you gotta worry about losing it, and you see Esau or, 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 or Eve as your boss. Or a Chinaman, Moab. Or a Sodomite as your fucking boss. You know what I mean? <laughs> or you get all, the, or you get that money, and then you got Trump and them talking about taxes, shutting your taxes down, and stealing money from you with tax with taxes at the at the uh, ATM called fractional reserve currency. Every time they, you you make a transaction, they say, yeah, you want to charge a dollar? You want to take three dollars for this transaction on, on the uh, ATM? That's the Fed that set that up. That's how they get rich. Imagine fractions of reserves, fractions of currency coming from every transaction from people all around the world just to one banking family. Mm. That's how they billionaires in the dollar field and in the gold field and in the crypto field and in the people field. Can I add one show? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Jake, Jake got a word, um, you know, finesse, you know, and, and you being finesse. Being Jake finesse. Super. Yeah. By the ultimate finessers. The finesse, the ultimate finesser. The <laughs> word was smoother than butter. That's right, man. Smoother than butter. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> no smoother than that. Ain't no smoother than that. Except for very white hair. Look at an oil. Very white hair grease. Look at the can of oil. Look at the can of oil, man. Uh, go ahead. Uh-oh. Uh, read that part again, brother. It says, "Ye have sown much and bring in little." Right. You sown a lot of work and wickedness in, in this society, and, and and invested a lot into this place, and you bring in little, man. You bringing in nothing, peanuts. All right, go ahead. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. That's right, man. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Right, because you're not eating up this word and you're not drinking up this word. All right, you're not full. You're still empty, you're still vacant. And also, uh, you're still thirsty, man, walking around thirsty. But the scriptures say if you drink of these waters, you shall not thirst anymore. All right? Drinking of the water of affliction, drinking of the philosophies and the wines of Esau and their lies and their deception, then you're doing just that. You're becoming more dead and more deceived and sick. All right? From drinking their concoctions, man. Their Babylon juice. Go ahead. Ye cloth you... But there is none war. That's right. They, right, they clothe themselves, right? Our people clothe ourselves. They try to be like the so-called white man. You have a black woman with blonde hair. You have a black man. He go to these jobs. He starts talking like a white man. You catch everything up. But he start, he start acting like a white man. Right? But he say, ye clothe, but ye are not warm. Ye are not comforted. But the Lord said, we're supposed to clothe ourselves with these words. Clothe ourselves with his covering, his garment, Yahweh, and then we'll be what? Warm. We'll be comforted. Alright? But being in this society, if you cover yourself with any idol, any any covering other than Yahweh, Yahweh, you will not be comforted, man, in these times coming. Go ahead. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag with hoes. That's right. That's twofold. Oh. So your reward is not going to come for all your investment in, in this society. And spiritually, Everything that you invested uh, spiritually in your wickedness is going to fail. And everything that you saved up in this society is cankered, meaning they could be altered. It can be what? Corrupted. Uh, that's why he says, stash your riches in heaven where moth do not corrupt and thieves cannot break through and steal. Uh, right? Because what? If you got your money in the banks, they can devalue it. All right? They're going to close the bank. They can do a bank run. Which is coming soon. You're going to go to the banks, the ATM, they're going to be shut down. The banks could just take your money and pay off their debts. Instead of paying you. Alright? Yeah, go ahead, brother. Alright, this is Isaiah 31. Right, so that's the difference between us and two-thirds. Two-thirds have faith in this society and their investment in, in this place. But us, we might work here. We may have to get our... Uh, our, our, our money from Esau, but we render unto Caesar what is Caesar, and we render unto Yahweh Shai what, what is his. And we have faith that their money is going to fail, and their system, and their beliefs, and their imaginations, you know, is going to fail. God. That's the difference, man. And we have faith that Yahweh Shai is going to save us, out, save us out of this damn condition we're in, man. God. All right, and his reward should not fail. Go ahead, brother. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh 
that take counsel, but not of me. That's right. And who is that rebellious children, according to the book of Ezekiel? Two-thirds of our people. They're a rebellious house, man. God. But the Lord said he sent us unto them, or sent you unto them as well, to wake them damn hard-headed people up. All right? And tell Esau about their coming judgment. The gods. Right? The gods are going into slavery. They're the top spirits of the demons. Of God. wickedness. The gothic people, man. All right? So-called white man, Esau. A thousand years of hardcore slavery is coming for y'all, man. No yeah, laugh at it now. Laugh now, cry later. That's, that's how it gotta go. Yeah, man, that's right, man. <laughs> go ahead, brother. Alright. It says, right, Walk to the rebellious children, says the Lord, that take hey, counsel. Man. You know, someday you're gonna be walking behind him with a chain on his neck. Like out like out walking your dog. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, brother. It says, uh, that take counsel, but not of me. And they cover with the cover, but not of my spirit. Right, you take counsel in these churches. Y'all take counsel of lie, you I see, wicked ass, bitch ass, uh, Nate, Satan. Faggot. Damn, faggot. You know, that's just what he is, a faggot, a homosexual, man. What I said, wicked snake Nate. I can say it I'll now. You can shut it down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna shut down my page and shit, man, because I said that shit. You're a fucking cop, man. <laughs> literally. 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 <laughs> he got connections. He got people. FBI. FBI. Yeah, man. <laughs> IUIC, man. Tell the dog, man. Pretty soon, behind them with the leash. There you go. Feed the new man, four, five, go. Don't worry about Five it. Days, I mean. soon you're going to be walking in with them, That's right, man. Let's keep going. Where are we at? Come on. That was, that was it on that. All right. So, uh, rebellious house, man. And our people have faith in this society. You have faith in Trump. Y'all think Trump going to save you? Even if they Trump, you think the next president going to save you? You thought Obama was going to save you? And he took away all your rights and set you up for Trump. Come on. And, and, and if I may add on. The benefits. Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah 30 and 1, man. It said, right. uh, Woe to the rebellious children, they have a covering, but not of me, man. That's all right. right. Man. So during this time of Jacob's trouble, man, if y'all don't have that covering of the Lord, y'all about to shoot me you will be numbered to the sword. Whether that, uh, you will be numbered to the sword. It's lucky. Whether that sword be famine, destruction, or pestilence, man. Why? Mm. Because you're going down to Egypt mm. for help, man. You're trusting into this, uh, this you trusting in this uh, bondage, man. You're right. looking for the uh, government to help y'all, man. You're looking for a bailout by them, man. That's why it says no man should buy you. All right? Your redeemer is the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai. Right? And you're trusting in your idols. Go on. Yeah. Trusting in Caesar Borgia. Trusting in Buddha. You know, trusting in Christ, Christ, uh, Christos. All right? Trusting in Esau. Trusting in your woman. Go on. So, so in that day, uh, Judges 10 and 13, that's why it's going to say, go and cry to the gods which you have chosen, man. All right, go and cry to Egypt. Go and cry to Jesus, man. They won't be able to deliver you. Why? Because it's all idols. They're not, they're fake. They're not real, man. All right, go and cry to Egypt. That same bondage, they got you in the same predicament that you're in now. All right, go cry to them. Tell hey, them, hey, boy, I want to get out of this. Cry to your money. Your dollar can't save you either. Juno. You go on. Your monetary system. <laughs> Juno, you know. Go ahead, brother. Just a quick precept. Um, and this is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24. Because I have called and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I, will, I, will, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Right. So the Lord said he's going to mark when your fear come up, man. All right, because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is a terrible power, man. That's why the scripture says in 1 Corinthians, all right, we persuade men through the terror of the Lord, man. All right, because we know that he is serious and he's not playing, man. So when the time of repentance, all right, uh, was, uh, was granted unto you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and y'all refuse it, the Lord said he's going to refuse you in that day when he visits. All right, he's going to refuse you. And there's nothing that you can't do when he's, when he's, um, when his destruction come upon you, 